Hello and welcome into another edition of Siena Saints Weekly. I'm your host Andrew Champagne. In just a moment we'll be joined by Caitlin Michael from the women's lacrosse team, but first let's take a look at the week that was in Siena Athletics. Men's basketball is riding their first three game win streak of the season heading into Monday night's game with Loyola at the Times Union Center. Most recently the Saints topped Manhattan 64-57 on Friday night behind a career-high 17 points from sophomore Odie Anasicki. A win against Loyola would put Siena one game out of second place in the MAC, and they'll also have key road games at Iona and Manhattan this coming weekend. The women, meanwhile, got back on the right track Sunday with a 57-35 win over Niagara at the Arc. Siena's front court led the way as sophomore Lily Grency posted a career-high 18 points, and senior Serena Moore added 17 points and 9 rebounds. Like the men, they've got two big road games coming up this coming week. They'll face Loyola in Baltimore on Saturday before traveling to Ryder on Monday. Swimming and diving ended the regular season at 8-4-1 after a 165-133 win over Fairfield Saturday at the Siena Swim Center. It was senior day for the Saints and the fourth-year student-athletes didn't disappoint, with Tri-Captains Caitlin Biagioli, Molly Chamberlain, and Brittany Pavolko each winning two events. Next up for the Saints are the MAC Championships, which begin on February 17th at Erie Community College in Buffalo. It might be hard to believe, but some spring sports begin this weekend. Most notably, men's lacrosse opens their 2011 schedule on the road at defending national champion Duke on Saturday. Meanwhile, water polo starts the season at this weekend's Bison Invitational at Bucknell. One other spring team starting up soon is women's lacrosse. They'll start up on February 22nd at UAlbany. And joining me now is senior captain Caitlin Michael. Caitlin, welcome to the show. Thank you. With just a couple of weeks until the start of the season, how's the team coming together? The team's coming together really well. Um, we were fortunate enough on the snow day, we got a lot of team bonding in, and we're just getting together. So we're starting to concentrate on communication and just becoming one. The Saints went 7-9 and nine last season, advancing to the MAG tournament for just the second time in program history, and you returned 10 of 12 starters from last year's team. How much of an edge is that at this point in the preseason? That really helps because it brings experience. So we have experience not only within the team and working together, but we also have experience in the MAC and understanding what it takes to get there and what happens and the pressure and everything. So having 10 of us back really helps to keep our team together. And with a lot of freshmen, it also you know brings a challenge, but it really does help us out. In your eyes, what are some of the strengths of the team that are starting to show up and practice every day? Um, I think our strength is that we bring intensity every single day, and that's a stressor that our coaches have been wanting us to work on. And every single day we're going out there, we're fighting hard so that we can compete to make ourselves better every single day. Last year, you were one of the most dominant players in the conference. You ranked in the top three in goals, assists, and points per game. How much pressure is on you to have that kind of a season again as a senior? It does definitely put pressure on me, but at the same time, um, I've been playing lacrosse for years, so this being my last official season, um, I just want to really have a good time, have fun, and build a memorable season. How emotional is that for you going into your last year on campus? It's really sad, not something I like to think mm -hmm. about, and um, just even thinking back to last year, our senior game, I was really close with our three seniors that graduated, and I knew how hard that was for them, so I can only imagine what it's going to be like. Okay, happier times now. <laughs> You're just 15 points away from this program's all-time scoring record held by Lindsay Rosecrans, who graduated just a few years ago. Mm -hmm. What would it mean to you to break the record of someone you played with your first few years on campus? Um, I think it would mean a lot. It means a lot for our program as well to show that, you know, we're growing and we're growing quickly. Lindsay was an awesome player, and I learned a lot from her, and she helped me gain a lot of the points that I have now, so I have to give credit to Lindsay. What are some of your goals this season, both individually and for the team as well? Um, for both myself and the team, I just want to have fun. And by having fun, that means we're you know, going into practice every day with a smile on our face, ready to work hard and do well. And um, individually, it'd be nice to get those 15 points and break the record just to have some, some type of legacy. But as a team, I think if we can be together and play as one every single day, that'll help us to win our games and win our MAC games and get back to the MAC tournament. Before we get to the lightning round here, I have to bring this up. Your brother, Jim played lacrosse here at Siena as well. He yes. was a senior when you were a freshman. Is there any sort of a sibling rivalry there? Um, not so much, I guess, because he was a defensive player and I'm an offensive player, but it was, there's always competition within the family, so it was, I guess, a little bit of something, yeah. Has he ever given you any sort of a tip to help your game? 
Um, not so much. He just gives me support when he's there, and he lives in D.C. now, but we have a game down in Maryland, so it'll be nice to be, have him actually come and see me play. That's handy. Yes. <laughs> Lightning round time. Here we go. Your favorite movie? Um, I guess I'd have to go pretty girly and say Pretty Woman. <laughs> it's, it's, it's an okay movie from a guy's perspective. I can certainly understand why, why you would enjoy it. Your favorite TV show? Um, my favorite TV show of all time, it's not running anymore, but is Sex in the City. Yeah. Uh, what, what about stuff that's running now? Um, it'd probably be Glee. It's a guilty pleasure of mine, but it was nice to have it started up yesterday. It's after a the guilty Super Bowl. pleasure for a lot of people, <laughs> for sure. Who's the funniest member of the team? Um, by far, it's Maggie Deloria. She's a sophomore. She's from um, Saratoga, so she's a local, but she's just hysterical, and that's who she is. She's not putting a show on for anyone, but it's always making us laugh. What's the funniest thing she's ever done to try to loosen the team up a little bit? Um, it's just, it's, it's something every day, a comment about something that happened, some story, just how she puts it, the way she's just so animated about it makes it very funny. Your biggest pet peeve? Um, it's probably when people that are in the fast lane are going really slow and don't get out of the fast lane. <laughs> like big trucks and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing good has ever happened from an 18-wheeler being in the left lane exactly. of the highway. <laughs> Finally, last right. question. If you could have dinner with any three people, dead or alive, who would they be? All right, this is pretty hard. I'd have to say first would be my great-grandmother. She um, was alive when I was an infant, but my mom and grandmother both say that I'm a lot like her, so it'd be nice to see what she was like in person. Um, two more I have to think of. Let's see. It's pretty hard. Um, <laughs> It'd probably be pretty great to see like a great athlete, kind of like Michael Jordan, and also um, I'm trying to think who would I want to have dinner with too. Maybe like a really good cook, so like Emerald. Have that some works. Good food. Right? Good food. Can't argue with that. Sure, it'll be an interesting table. Yeah. Well, that's going to do it for a day. I'd like to thank Caitlin Michael for stopping by. I'm Andrew Champagne, and I'll see you next week.